Hi there! So, you're looking for perfume that has potential to be your signature scent. A perfume that smells unique, yet not basic. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're new here, my name is Joanna, and I do perfume reviews and recommendations in my channel. Welcome! Today's video is going to be very interesting, as I will be recommending 10 perfumes which, in my opinion, are so worthy to be signature scents. First of all, they all smell amazing and not usual, in my opinion. And second of all, these perfumes are good all year round. And lastly, the projection and longevity of these perfumes are really good. So, without further ado, let's get into it. So, as mentioned, I have prepared for you 10 perfumes in today's video. Um, this is a designer fragrance, and I'm talking about Chloe Nomad Absolute. First of all, guess what? It's by Kenton Beige. <laughs> I mentioned a lot of this perfume in, in my channel because I really love, love his creations. Um, Chloe Nomad Absolute is very unique in my opinion because of the fruit Mirabelle in it. We don't really find um, a lot of perfumes with that note and because of that I find it very unique. It has Mirabelle, oak moss, sandalwood and with the base of musk really really nice and interesting guys um to me this is something uh worn by a uh, fun yet very sophisticated woman um i love this perfume actually i love chloe as a brand in the designer's uh world because they just always create something very sophisticated in my opinion they make a lot of um powdery perfumes yet just so unique um if you love chloe perfumes you know what i'm talking about there is something about their perfumes that has a level of niche in my opinion mm. To me, this can be worn all year round. Just like very good, very good flirty feminine perfume. Um, Chloe Nomad. Absolute. So the next perfume is for sophisticated woman. I'm talking about Mongorlan Intense EDP. Hmm. This has lavender, iris, bergamot, vanilla, and licorice. If you enjoy iris and lavender, this is a winner. This to me is just so elegant and so woman-like. Um, this is one of my favorite designer fragrances. To me, this is how an effortless, classy woman um, smell like. Um, this has an amazing, amazing um, longevity and projection. You will definitely be smelled. I love this. This is for my effortless yet classy women out there Mongorlan intense EDP um, next perfume okay now we are proceeding to the niche side uh, Desiree Tanwa Desiree by Kutal sorry if I murdered the name <laughs> um Please, can we just appreciate the bottle? This perfume 
Mm. Is another um, fruity and irisy perfume. This has black currant, iris, leather, and musk. It is very powdery yet dry. It has that lipsticky vibe, of course, it's because of the iris, but like very powdery. Uh, this has the base of musk and leather, I think. It's so good. I adore this perfume because this always gives me compliments. Um, to me, this is another elegant yet bit sexy perfume um i love it to me this can be worn all year round um just beautiful for me this is a scent of a beautiful woman um yeah so that is tenoit tissere by kutal next perfumes in my opinion are for um the easy go lucky um, women out there who are fun and who enjoys unisex perfumes. Um, the first one that I'm going to mention is Bois Imperial by Essential Parfums. Mm. This is another Kintin Bish creation, by the way. Mm, I love this. Mm. This has Aki Gala Wood vetiver basil ambroxan and patchouli this is very aromatic woody and yet it it is fresh and spicy i love this perfume this is like a beast mode as well but you know that beast mode that you actually don't notice um i'll never forget when i was just trying out the sample sizes of this perfume i felt like um it disappeared on my skin after two hours so i kept spraying and my husband just told me like whoa you really love that perfume that you have to spray it <laughs> Even though um, it's very strong already. And I was like, really? So you're smelling me? Apparently, this um, has a very strong projection. And I didn't even notice. Um, I love this. I love this perfume. You know, definitely, if you enjoy a unisex fragrance, you will love this. A unisex, woody fresh spicy and aromatic fragrance that lasts all day and still very unique in my opinion yeah, so that is Bois Imperial by Essential Parfums this to me is a very fun and outgoing perfume and I'm talking about another 13 by Le Labo. Mm, this is a creation of Natalie Dorson. Very nice. This for me um, describes that cutie girl in the campus who is so cool and who has a lot of friends. Mm, this has pear, citruses, and breath moss and ios always super um i feel like this is very inoffensive and just smells so good if you want to try out anything from the Labo, for example you haven't tried any uh, perfumes yet in their collection i highly recommend you trying another 13 first because I feel like this perfume is very likable. Everybody will like it. And it's just an easy perfume. Definitely giving me a cool girl vibe. Mm. This is fresh, powdery, in the most modern way. Um, yeah, so that is another 13 by Le Labo. Next perfume. Hmm. 
So now, for example, you are working in an, an environment that you have to work very closely to, um, to someone. For example, like, you know, you're a nurse. You don't want something that is um, polarizing and you prefer something that stays a little bit closer to your skin. Then I highly, highly recommend Voila de Oc by Yves Richer. I love this perfume. If you actually watch my best perfumes of 2022, this is in it. Mm, this is so creamy yet very comforting. This is sandalwood and cedar. Mm. You know, if you love sandalwood and you want it like creamy but not too creamy and sweet, this is the one for you. Um, this is very aromatic yet it stays very close um, to the skin. Um, you will definitely feel... Um, so good when you wear this. I don't know, there's something about this that makes me always feel just fresh and clean. I just love this perfume. It's just so comforting and very light. So yeah, that is Vola de Oc by Yves Richer. The next five perfumes are actually my personal favorites and I must say that these are my kind of signature scents as well um yeah so i'll be sharing them with you um first is the amouage sunshine hmm i know this is quite pricey but let me tell you this is so worth it mm. this has almond black currant osmanthus a lot of white flowers Juniper and with a base of white tobacco. Uh, this to me is so unique. Um, I think it's because of the white tobacco in it. For example, you want to try um, a tobacco scent that is not leaning more masculine nor um, unisex. I highly, highly recommend you. Um, sunshine. Um, this is different because it has a white tobacco and then you know with all those white flowers and juniper berries it just uplifts you. I don't know there's something about this perfume that I always feel uplifted and happy every time I wear it. Um, this bottle in the color yellow kind of describes the scent that you're gonna get out of this. Um, this is so silky and suede like but just so good and bright. Um, I know some people love using this in the summertime but actually for me this is so good to wear all year round. Um, it's just amazing. It it will definitely give you that happy vibe. Sunshine by Amwatch. Um, next perfume is my beloved Danois by Le Labo. Um, this perfume mm, to me is just so sexy. It has fig, bay leaf, bergamot, cedar, vetiver, musk, and tobacco. So, um, this has tobacco as well. However, it is so well blended with the rest of the ingredients that it, to me, like, I don't smell really the tobacco in this. What I'm getting here are actually fig, bay leaf, and a lot of foods 
and musk. This is very, very uplifting, yet so dark and sexy, in my opinion. There's just something seductive about it. I love wearing this at night. This is actually my date night scent with my husband. So yeah, definitely one of my signature scents. Um, De Noir by Le Labo. My San Francisco de John, um, Gentle Fluidity Gold. Mm, let me actually spray it. I'm gonna describe this as like me in a bottle during the day. Mm. I don't know, to me, this is very classy and very sophisticated. For me, the person wearing this perfume is definitely someone who's always dressed up, yet very um, effortless chic. And she's smart and, you know, everybody likes her. Because even though she is chic and smart, She's very approachable. This is the vibe that Gentle Fluidity Gold is giving me. Um, this is one of my favorite um, MFK perfumes as well. Um, I love this. This to me is definitely my signature scent during the day. Mm. Gentle Fluidity Gold by My Son Francis John. Okay, um, now we are in the last perfume and I'm gonna talk about my new favorite, my new discovery, Jauhara by Maisa Perfumes. Mm. This is Orange Blossom citrus patchouli amber and vanilla you know guys i am not a fan of orange blossom as well in perfume but i'm telling you this is so beautiful this is so elegant and luxurious like definitely class and luxury in a bottle um, in my opinion, this can be worn all year round. However, this is very strong. You only need two sprays, max. Um, yeah, Johara by Maisa, my personal favorite and my current signature scent. All right, so we finished the video. That's all my recommendations. How about you? I'm eager to know what's your signature scent um like what kind of perfume do you go for please write me down in the comments down below and of course if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already um that's all about it thank you for watching guys and see you on my next one bye